wrapping up. Well, after hours of play and review, it is now your turn to help name the top toys. Fox 4 consumer reporter Steve Noviello says they each have a different fun factor. Well, the finalists are announced, and now it is your turn to vote for the Toy of the Year Awards. Jennifer Lynch with the Toy Association joins me with a look at some of the finalists. I'll tell you, I look forward to this segment every year. 117 finalists, 16 categories. Tell me some of the standouts. So I've got the Space Invaders Mini Arcade here with me. This is from my arcade, and it downscales the traditional big giant arcade into a pint-sized version that's going to sit on your tabletop. All the same gameplay, packed inside, but one-tenth the size. I love it, and doesn't take up a lot of room, which is apparent. I can appreciate as well. Let's talk about uh, the Construction Toy of the Year. One of the nominees there. Yeah, this is the Brio Builder Motor Set. And this is a 128 or 21-piece building set. And it's great for parents and kids to do together. Um, really hands-on engineering. It comes with great, high-quality wooden building blocks. So you can really um, put this together. And it motor it's motorized as well, so you can make it come to life after. Okay, my kids aren't quite old enough to get into Pokemon, but apparently this is still quite a hot toy, uh, toy trend out there. Super hot. Pokemon is not going anywhere. Um, but what's great about this is the Pokemon um, trading card game Battle Arcade uh, Academy. And what this does is it actually makes it really easy for younger kids to learn how to play the traditional trading card game. But it's the first ever board game version. So players get um, two different decks. You got the Pikachu deck. You've also got the Charizard deck. And you can battle in a board game version, but then eventually adapt it to being played as a traditional um, trading card game as well. All right, the KidZoom uh, creator cam from VTech. I'll tell you a little preview. This is going to be on a list that we will publish very soon. Uh, this is nominated for Innovative Toy of the Year. Tell me about it. Yeah, so if you've got a kid at home that's trying to be their own YouTube star, this is what you need as a starter <laughs> kit. So it comes with an HD camera, um, really high definition, great quality. It has a little um, tripod attached, but the tripod actually folds down so you can use it as a selfie stick. Also comes with a green screen, um, plus the software for video editing. It's got everything kids need to really make some high quality content. <laughs> Yeah, and, and if the content pays to take care of me in my old age because they become a YouTube star, so be it. Uh, the Fun I, Fan Fryer Preschool Toy of the Year. I absolutely love this. This is from Hoppe, and it's actually just like a little flat fryer, um, frying pan, um, pretend play for kids, but it's got a little fan built in, and I don't know if it's going to work very well right now, but... I can get it to work. It actually bubbles up and it, um, it'll make the um, egg look like it's actually bubbling and frying. There's multiple different um, accessories that it. come with it. So it's great um, kitchen play, hands on, get, getting the imagination working. And finally, uh, certainly not, uh, not the least though, American Girl 2020 Girl of the Year. Uh, this is a nominee for the specialty toy of the year, the first character doll with a uh, physical disability. Yes, so this is the character Joss. Um, really, again, American Girl has been around forever, but I really love this because it is the first character with a disability. She has a congenital hearing problem, so if you look closely, you can actually see she's got a little hearing aid. But the storyline behind it, along with her book that she comes with, is that she doesn't let this stop her. She's actually a surfer, so she's got a lot going on, and it's something that is relatable to all girls. Awesome. I love it. You'll find a link of where you can vote for your favorite toys. It's right now on our station website, fox4news.com.